Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, in this video, what I'm going to be doing is, is I'm going to be looking back at uh, Legionnaire's six plays. Uh, and I'm going to be looking at the overall picture. We've already covered the six plays individually. okay? Um, so now we're going to look at the overall picture and, and see what it's telling us uh, in, in, in Sword and Buckler that can be applied to Sword and Shield. Okay? Um, so the first thing that I see that, that stands out pretty well is... You know, when he makes a cut, you know, he's attacking defensively and he's 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 both attacking and he's defending strongly, okay? He's using the, the, the his buckler uh, strongly to catch that incoming blow, to close that line. Um, you know, he's not flailing it around. Um, and I, I have seen um, some videos of people, you know, kind of flailing the, um, the shield around. And, and I, 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 you know, um, it does not follow the medieval mindset okay um you know, aside from the fact that there's nothing in legionnaire that, that that shows us that we should be doing anything other than attacking strongly and holding our sword and buckler firmly um if we look at uh at at, at the context of fighting with a war shield okay um you know first of all these things were used you know in shield walls okay so if you're on a shield wall of course you're going to be you're going to be holding it strongly because you might be on a static line. Okay, your your position might be to you know to just hold the line, neither advance nor retreat. Uh, you know the other context is uh, you know knights fighting from horseback. Okay, so they're on horseback. They're, they've got their shield here and they're they're using it to defend themselves against incoming lance blows. Okay, so so you have an opposing knight coming in on a on a horse. Uh, that weighs some 1,500 pounds. That's covered in armor, okay. And, and he's had he has a heavy lance, which which is basically a, a, a you know a, a heavy spear. And uh, basically, you're going to try and catch that lance and deflect it. You're pretty much making very minimal motions, okay. You, you know, you're you're offering a very stiff defense. So 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 it would follow from that philosophy that. You know, if, if you're using the buckler, or if you're using the shield in a, um, you know, in a in a duel, right, where you have two people fighting each other, uh, you're going to be using it in a similar way. Um, and and when we look at the six plays, I mean, we do see basically two people fighting each other. So he's giving us instruction uh, in that specifically. Okay. Uh, so let's talk about the uh, the sword. Uh, what does he tell us about the sword? Uh, basically, he's telling us to make specific cuts. Okay. Um, you know, he's telling us to make, let's say, a middle how, okay? Or he's telling us to, uh, you know, to make a struck how. Or he's telling us to, you know, cut to the left cheek, okay? So he's telling us to make very specific cuts. Um, you know, there's nothing in his instruction that tells him, that tells us, you know, that we should be basically, uh, you know, wristing the shots. Or that we should be, you know, using the sword as a as a rapier okay and, and the reason why i think that's important to mention is because i have seen people trying to execute these six plays uh, you know using this type of a sword uh as a rapier and i have nothing against rapiers i fence rapier um but the rapier does the job of a rapier a lot better than this sword and certainly better than let's say type x okay and i've talked about type x swords uh in different videos um, a type X sword would be very hard to control that point. Uh, that is definitely a, a cutting sword, okay? Um, so he's telling us to make very specific cuts. Um, now, um, going beyond that, I mean, we are fighting with a war shield. I mean, he shows us with a buckler. Uh, he show, he's basically talking about unarmored combat because we're, t we're mostly talking about people that are wearing mail. Uh, you know, with a thin layer of padding underneath it, or leather, or, or layers of cloth. You know, basically, you know, with this type of a shield, we're talking about a war setting. Um, so, without our, without a question, our blows have to be powered from the hips. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, it's not going to be just arm. It's going to be full power from the hips. Um, and basically, here I have a completely blunt sword. All right, this is completely blunt. Um, and here I have a fairly clean piece of wood, okay, and with a blunt sword, okay, a blunt sword, okay, against a, see if I can get this wood out, okay, there's my cut with a blunt sword on a piece of wood, okay, I got in pretty deep, okay, um, if you're wearing a male, let me get that back in there, 
Oh, and by the way, this basically does give. I have this set up so it gives quite a bit. Um, if you are wearing male, okay, you don't want to get hit on the forearm with the cut that I just made over there, okay? Um, so, so these are some of the things that we're pulling out from the sixth play. Um, he's, he's, he's strong with his defense. Um, you know, he's strong with his offense. He's uh, using a misdirection, okay? Because in, in his six plays, uh, in almost all of them, okay, uh, he tells us to, you know, initiate in one quadrant, because he basically we're dividing the quadrant into four. He, he basically tells us to initiate the attack on one quadrant, and then we end up, you know, attacking another quadrant, okay? Um, so whether it's basically, you know, he might have us cut, then thrust, but then we end up going low, okay? Or we start on the right side, and then we end up on the left side, and then perhaps we finish low. Or we start low, and then we move high. Um, so he's using misdirection. And then um, uh, we have the, uh, the, the Wessel Howe, which is, uh, he mentions that the changing cut, um, which basically you know, adds a completely new level of, um, of misdirection, because he's basically telling us you know, to, to, with the whistle, we start on one side and then we end up on the other side, okay? Um, and, and a changing cut uh, can, can be any combination of cuts. So, so even though he tells us to end up on the left side, he doesn't tell us where to start from. So that the whistle how that he mentions could have very well started low and then came high, okay? Um, or started from the right side and came left, you know, or perhaps you know, started as a thrust and then turned into a cut okay so so he's using misdirection he's using deception um, so, so that is is I think an important aspect of his style of fighting that 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 we see so uh, there are my thoughts on looking back on the six plays um, if you haven't seen the earlier videos please go check them out um, you know if you like this video um, you know, um, uh, by all means, give it a thumbs up, share it, uh, pass it around. If you're not a member, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time.